Welcome back to Living Local. A local nonprofit is getting creative when it comes to fundraising. Empowering Abilities is holding a scavenger hunt, but it's not your ordinary scavenger hunt. This one has a unique twist and it's fun for the whole family. Their resource development coordinator, Lexi Kepi, joins us now in this segment sponsored by Empowering Abilities. Lexi, so great to have you back. Yeah, Welcome back for to the show. Me. All right, so what will the scavenger hunt look like this year? Because this is the second year for this, it is. right? Yes. So It'll be um, the same setup, except instead of starting at our Brady Street location, we will be starting at our Hickory Grove Road location. Okay. Um, our doors open at 2, so people can come in, kind of get acquainted with um, the software that we use to upload the photos. And then um, during that time, after everybody is there, we will talk about um, the rules, go through those, hand out the task sheets right before, so nobody can get any in before the time starts. And then from three to six, we let them go out into the community and um, perform these tasks that we give them. And then it ends right at six, so everybody has to be back by six. Okay. And then from six to seven, we do the food, we do the uh, beverages, and then the prizes. Okay, so let's talk about some of those tasks. Yeah. Um, what will participants be required to do? Give um, us some examples, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Without so, giving away too much, right? Um, some of them are super silly. Um, some of them are super simple, um, fun. And um, one example is, you know, take a photo of a team member hanging upside down on the monkey bars. Gotcha. Or take a video of your team singing uh, Summer Nights on the Bleachers. So <laughs> something that's that's fun and, and gets the whole team involved in it. Oh, that does sound like fun. And these are all different from last year. They're they not all different, but, some. but we have actually added a lot more tasks because ah. some teams were very sneaky and almost finished the 51 tasks that we <gasps> had on there. So we definitely want to make okay. sure that we... Uh, add many more on there. Yeah, make it a little more difficult yes. for them, right? So who can participate in the scavenger hunt? Um, anybody for? can Anyone. participate of all ages. We had a team who had um, their 13-year-old son, the mom, and then their grandmother on it. Okay. Um, so that was really cool to see. Okay, so it doesn't matter how big the team is. It you can have not. two or three people or yep. as many as how many, of, what's the max you've ever had? Six. Okay. So we do not let anybody um, have a team past six, only because six is generally um, the amount of people that you can fit in a vehicle. Um, okay. Most people have those family <laughs> size vehicles, so right. we just don't want um, somebody to bring the bus and <laughs> riding on top of the vehicle to gotcha. try to get from task to task. And anybody of all abilities can perform um, this scavenger hunt as well. I, I love that. I love that. It's for everyone. So you mentioned prizes. So let's mm -hmm. talk about what viewers could end up winning possibly. Yeah, so our first place prize, um, we have like a tailgating basket that we're giving away along with six Iowa Hawkeye tickets um, and uh, $50 in gas gift cards for them to get to the game along with some snacks and stuff. And then for second place, we have $150 gift cards um, to Fleet Feet for each person on um, the team, which is super nice. Um, and then our door prizes. All you have to do to win door prizes is just sign up, and everybody um, who signs up name goes into um, the basket to be pulled. We have some tickets to the Notre Dame football game. We have some Iowa men's um, basketball tickets and then oh. we also have um, this really cool beach chair and umbrella and a, um, a, uh, a su some sweet tickets to um, the River Bandits game um, okay. and stuff like that. So some fun stuff. Great prizes yeah. for sure, for sure. How do people register then? People can go What's to our website. Um, when they go to our website and they click on um, the events, it will have a link to take them to our registration site. And, and they get something if they register too, right? Is they that, do. Okay. This nice, bright orange shirt that people can see out in the community. Um, it says Empowering Abilities Hunt on it. Um, and that also gains them access to complete the event um, and participate in it. And then also food, beverages, and a chance to win the prizes at the end of it. I love that. Okay, so let's talk about the money that is raised. So mm -hmm. how does that help with you guys? Yeah, um, any event that we do um, helps in any sort of way, um, helps serve the individuals that we serve every single day. Um, we have uh, current projects going on um, that will directly impact our participants. Yeah, yeah. And, and I like I said before, I love that you, it's for everyone, mm -hmm. all abilities, mom, dad, someone maybe with special needs, yeah, whatever, absolutely. whatever. And it's just fun. And then a fun event for everyone and hey, 
great prizes and you mentioned some food too, right? Yep, we did. We'll be having um, food that obviously comes with registration. Um, so that will be really nice as well. Awesome. Well, Lexi, it has been a pleasure. Good luck with yeah, the event. Thank thanks for coming on again this year. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, again, this segment was sponsored by Empowering Abilities, and you can learn more when you visit empoweringabilities.org. We'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.